he does this McDonald's thing where he walks in and goes, oh, I've just ordered this and um, one of the burgers was missing. Did you, no. use, did you used to steal pick a mix from Woolworths? <laughs> I don't even know why I stole it. I must have been... I was in secondary school. I've done it by now, I don't care. That Simon Wilson I watch on YouTube who's... does like... well, tra travels about solo. Right. And uh, he's he's mad, mate, but he always blanks his boarding pass out. Yeah. But he's a mad... like, I think he's a mad guy. Like, he... I started watching... You know, if you come across a, a channel or somebody and you start watching them from when they're, it's quite early on. So like he was sub like maybe 10,000 subscribers. Right. And he was, or maybe sub 20,000, but he was going across America. He used to do these skin challenges. So like, I'm gonna do a night, no, no money in Amsterdam, mm. no money in wherever. Mm. And then he did no money across America from east coast to west coast I was just doing, And what's the deal what's the, the north, deal the, the, Yeah I do I was that like, <laughs> mate every single time <laughs> Yeah from east coast to New York to LA uh, mad doing no, what no well traveling but without spending a penny So if eating uh, he does this Mackey he does this McDonald's thing where he walks in and goes oh, I've just ordered this and um uh, one of the burgers was missing. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, and then he that's does. A stock, that's a hotel, stock. Hotel hotel breakfasts. That's a, that's a Stockport classic. That I uh, uh, another which other, is, other, is that borderline other... th like theft. Oh, uh, I think it's I think it's I think it's fully in theft it's territory. It's, it's I mean, let him do it. Let him have it. He does this. He does the same with hotel breakfast. And they there, don't care. Are there some places that are okay to steal from? Did you no. use, did you used to steal pick a mix from Woolworths? <laughs> what I'm I'm not getting into it. Yeah. I didn't. No. Okay. I know what you're going to say. Yeah. And I, which is that I didn't. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know what, mate? I think I've stole one thing. In my life, which was, it was a, it was a, it was lit. I don't even know why I stole it. I must have been. I was in secondary school. Yeah. From a little random shop, it was like a candle or something. Right. And I remember. I don't know why. I I don't know why I did it. And I I all, I wanted to take it back. Yeah. And uh, it was worthless to me. Probably pretty worthless to them as well, but I can remember you stealing. Do stupid shit like I that, was in like a chemist. Like I don't know. If, I don't know if chemists still sell sweets now, but they used to. Mm. And I remember being in there with my mum. Like I used to nick loads of stuff when I was a kid. <laughs> and and I tell you where I got it from. I tell you where I got it from. Um, was well, this particular thing that I was talking about then was I was in a chemist and I, and I, and I stole one of those lollies that were whistles as well. Do you remember? It was like a cylinder about that, about this big, like a couple of inches big. And you took them out of the thing and they were a whistle and a lolly. I think I do remember those. And, and the, the character on the front of the wrapper was the, 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 like the lolly with like eyes on it. And I stole it and I got in the car um, and mum saw that I had it. So marched me back into the car and so I had to give it to her. But it's all her fault um, because I can distinctly remember when we were kids, I don't know why I'm saying we were kids, when I was a kid, and we would go to the supermarket with mum and she would like start eating a bag of crisps on the way around the supermarket. Mm. And I'd be like, what are you doing? She's like, it's all right, I'll pay with the wrapper when we get to the till. I was like, all right. And then the wrapper would just miraculously, miraculously not be there. Yeah. yeah, I never get people that do that. I see yeah. people eating in, in supermarkets and think, can't you just wait, like, yeah. literally five minutes? Yeah. Just wait it out, it's mm, fine. Mm, mm. But, um, but I, yeah, I was really bad with it, mate. I used to, like, because my dad, it's really bad, this. I feel like this is um, almost like a therapy session. But dad was a car dealer. He used to deal in cash. And mate, he just had stacks of cash. <laughs> stacks of it. So just, you know, quick tw oh, 20 yeah, off the actually, top. Yeah. Bits like that, you know. I do lie. I did 
quite often yeah. did dip into mum's purse for like a couple yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, and couple cigarettes of, were a, a thing quid, as well. Yeah, a couple yeah, of quid yeah. to uh, nip to the shop and buy some sweets. Did you ever... Um, because Dad dealt well, in cash. Dad's coin drawer. He it, had well, like a coin drawer. We the, the version of Dad's coin drawer at our place was down the side of the sofas because oh, nice. he used to have pockets full just of change. Coins, just dri- yeah, it just sit dripping down. at the yeah. back of the car as well. It was always yeah. dripping with pounds. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we went off on a little bit of a tangent there, but that's how the week's been. It's been pretty good. Matt, how's your week been? Week has been uh, good. Fairly good, I'd say, this week. This is the Lost Man Podcast, where we embrace the challenges and triumphs of being a modern man in the middle years. Join us as we explore the rugged path of growing older, wiser and bolder in a world that's constantly changing. I'm your host, John. And I'm Matt. And together we'll navigate this uncharted territory with grit, humour and a whole lot of heart.